Um, uh, can I? Okay. Can I have a motion to start the meeting? I make a motion to start the meeting. I second. second. Excellent. Well, welcome back, everyone. I just want to remind you we're on Zoom in case you <laughs> didn't realize that. <laughs> Everything is being recorded, so let's um, be mindful of that. Um, I believe the first thing, I, I hope, yeah, okay. I believe the first thing we have on the um, agenda is the potential arts and crafts fair, whether it's uh, a thing or not a thing. And so, Shari, I'm gonna... Um, well, um, I don't think it's going to be a thing, at least not for December. Mm -hmm. I just think the space is not safe for that many people. Yeah. Um, and I personally don't want to be responsible if, you know, for the health of everybody there. But I mean, and also I didn't realize that we could meet. Um, I thought we still weren't being weren't allowed to meet till December. So I was like, well, how are we going to do this if we can't meet? But um, I don't know. I, I think that maybe if you want to do it, then maybe we could do it in a warmer weather month or see how COVID goes and pick another date. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? I mean, everything is so, it's so hard, you know, it, everything is so, <laughs> it's still not settled out. So it is hard to, to yeah. know um, yes or no. I mean, what's the minimum amount of time that you would need to organize something if we said, you know, in, I mean, it's already September and, yeah. you know, you'd need like four, six weeks, right? Like you, these people need Four, six to, weeks? Oh, no, no, no. Much longer than months. Months. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right. Because yeah. you have to put out the call for yeah, um, right. artists, and then you have to get their paperwork in and processed, and you know you have to work out a date with where, wherever your venue is going to be. It's always been the yeah. library, but if you if there's a different space somebody wants, that's you know fine. So I mean, I I usually get the call out for artists in September. And we have it in December, so September, October, November. So, you know, I, I would say it doesn't have to be four months. We could do it three months, but I, I don't know. Things are really, uh, we could play it by year if you want, but that space is pretty right. yeah. close. Mm -hmm. so, okay. if so, anyone, so the thing, we could do something outside, right? That would be safe. Yeah, yeah. And what about yeah, like for Mother's the, Day or something in you know in the in the spring or yeah something like that 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 would be great you know you know the one of the reasons that um, we didn't do a springtime one is because you know the rain it's always rainy in April yeah. all April long and then um, you know the weather's iffy do you have a rain date whatever but how much is it to rent one of those really big tents. Is it really expensive? Anyone know? Like what? You mean like what kind of tent? It was a tent is not is not a whole lot different from being inside. No, no, if it's just a roof with well, open sides. Well, but we have that one that's in front of Village Hall. It's not. No, that I mean big. a really big one, like so we could fit all the vendors underneath it, like you get get for a like, wedding or something. It's like thousands of dollars. I mean, <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's not cheap. I I know that. Um, I mean, we could investigate it. I mean, how many? How many would fit in that one in front of Village Hall? Nora, that one's like, not that big. But maybe four. Yeah, it's probably not big. No, enough. not big. No. I mean. You know, look, who knows what's going to happen come springtime. I'm happy to just have artists bring their own, you know, separate tents. You know, like, like the canopy thing, the white canopy thing. So like, and maybe, it, maybe it, most it, of them it, have tents. Maybe they do have tents. A lot. Most, of I think most people who do these things consistently do have tent setups. Absolutely. 
Um, well, so, well, what if, what about like scaling it down? Like, what if we offered like two or three vendors that library lobby space, like all the Saturdays in you know <clears throat> November and December? Like, we rotated out, you know, three different vendors on Saturdays or something. I know it's it, I hate it would be a lot of work, but I wonder if that would be a way. I mean, we would all have to pitch in, obviously, but I feel, I just feel like these people, you know, it's great for these people to have merchandise out before the holidays and everything. Like, could we could we jerry rig it somehow to make it work like with COVID that way? With, oh, we'd, with the, have to, we'd have to talk to the library and see how they feel about that. Mm, right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I mean, how do you feel about that? <laughs> how do we all feel about that? I mean, I'm. I, I know for sure right now I, I can. I'm not available every single weekend. Um, yeah. I can be available as much I as possible. take turns. Yeah, but yeah. And I, I would guess everybody would have to wear a mask. And um, excuse me for one second. Excuse me, Nora. Yeah. yeah. Elizabeth is trying to get on. Do oh, you know? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Is Violet on? No, and I just tried to promote. Um, Melissa came back on, and I can't get her promoted. I she can speak. Oh, there she. There they are. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, okay, sorry. Uh, I, I, I think I think actually, uh, Jackie, that's a very good idea. Um, if you want, um, I don't know the new. Uh, well, I, I'll just, I could email Linda Bandari and float that idea with her and see how she feels about it. Maybe they have an idea. Maybe they don't want anyone in, in the library like that. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. I also think, I mean, anytime I go to the library, there's not a lot of traffic. So we're, we're not really giving them the promise of traffic that we would normally during a craft fair. Yeah. That's true. Um, that's it's a much true. more passive scene. Yeah. Yeah. There are not, people are not going to the library. That's absolutely yeah. true. So, they just have a book fair, you know, they had a book fair on the lower level um, that had a lot of people in the community room yeah. and uh, uh, the hallways there and book down there. You mean the parking lot, right? No, it was oh. the library. No. Well, I mean, I should let Joyce Marie, <laughs> so she's with the friends of the library. There were books everywhere, lots, lots of people, lots of books. Yeah, there was a fair bit of mm -hmm. Was it well attended? I meant to get to it. I didn't get there, but was it well attended? Yes, well, I, I was there twice. And uh, yeah, yeah, the community room had all book tables in it. And, uh, yeah, there were quite a few people. Was everybody wearing a mask? Um, I can't remember. Were they? I, I was working on the bake sale. We were all masked and everyone came up to it. Yeah, I think so. As far, far as I remember, yeah. Hmm. I mean, the the other possibility is um, Elizabeth did a uh, a poetry session, and there was a book sale going on under the in the parking lot of the Emily next to the library. That's quite big. Oh, outdoors. So oh. that's a that's a possibility. So, the yeah. parking garage. That's a great yeah, the parking idea. garage. They closed it off so nobody yeah. could park there, and that's you had the whole space. That is that's a where the great last idea. book sale was. The library had its last book sale in the parking lot. That's right. Well, I mean, I don't think in December that is. Just, it's going to be cold. Yeah. But <laughs> but I but mean, they have at outdoor. Least a possible, maybe at possible. Columbus. You know, in Bryant Park, they have outdoor events too. Like, so I mean, you could it could be done. It could be, it could be done. Possibility. But so the difference, though, is in Bryant Park, each one of those vendors has a heated space. Yeah, it, right. it's a lot different. But, yeah. but that said, I mean, if you want to do something for you know for Mother's Day, that's yes. a good idea. That's yeah, it. in that in that yeah. parking lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Joyce Marie is trying to say something. I, I work at the, the art rider, craft fairs, here. Christmas and Mother's Day is always good. 
stay off stage. Uh, yes, yeah, that's what I've heard. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't like me personally. I'm not eating in restaurant inside restaurants right now, and I I don't feel comfortable being squeezed in with a lot of people inside. So, you know, that's just me. But uh, you know, if it were in the parking lot, I, that to me is a lot more comfortable because don't forget, yeah. a lot of the vendors are, are older people who, you know, I don't know how they feel oh. about it either. Okay. Uh, well, maybe we should poll them. Maybe you could just even ask them if they would even consider, you know, maybe it would be a shorter amount of time, like 12 to four or something like, so if you wouldn't get cold or we, we, you know, you'd bundle up, I mean, and, and if they would be interested in that, or if we should really look towards Mother's Day to do a spring arts and crafts fair and using the parking lot is, is like a great covered idea. Yeah. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is perfect. It's a great idea. And we don't have to we don't have to have as many vendors as we usually did. Right, we don't, yeah. Melinda, were you trying to say something? Well, no, I just, uh, how do you know that we can get the parking lot? Like, how do you get that? I guess through the, the village. village. Yeah. yeah. The village, the village so manages that, that parking lot, so I think that would yeah. not be a problem. Oh, nice. That's great. That would be cool. Or, yeah. well, let's kind of like think about that and maybe flesh out some of the possibilities and um, maybe have another check in Shari um, on and if anybody else has any other ideas on how to maybe do this or kind of organize this or um, and we'll, just, we'll move on to the next item. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll put out a couple of emails and because I know a couple of vendors have already asked me or oh. us if we were doing the show. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I know they want to, so uh, I'll send out an email and ask what people think. Okay, that would be great, and we'll figure it out. Um, let's just move on to um, the tote bags. <laughs> so the tote bags, um, the ones that Violet painted for the raffle at the concerts were beautiful, um, and we handed out, I don't know, maybe like 20 tote bags. Those were the ones that I could print. I just could not figure out how to print them well. I have found a company, a mesh printing in New Rochelle. They will take the bags, they will take the screen, and they will complete the last 80 that need to be printed for um, $150. So can we have a vote on spending that money so that um, we can get the bags printed, then we'll have them available for whatever use they, they might be, either giveaway or... Um, so can I have a show of hands all in favor of spending yeah. that money? Yes. Okay, yeah. great. Thank you so much. Um, I'm excited great to job. get that one completed. Okay. Um, the other items are um, the summer concerts and we'll, we'll wait for Larry to talk about the small ones. We'll, I'll, I'll talk about the bigger ones. Um, we partnered with the Emlyn and I, I would say they were a, a wonderful community event of uh, hundreds of people, um, if not a thousand, maybe at the second one. They were really fun. Um, I don't know if, it, if people were able to attend. Um, it was very um, Emlyn like focused, but you know, in reality, they did all the work. You know, they they organized the performers, they did all the sound system, they did all the lights, and it was really professionally done yeah. and well, well done. So I was very happy um, with it. Does, does anyone have any thoughts on? I mean, I'm hoping to continue that for next year, to, to concerts. Right. I um, think it was a lot of fun. We needed something like that. You know, regardless of who was performing, we needed something. Yeah. Okay. I think it's the best okay. idea. Yeah, the, the concert series was wonderful. I mean, we, we got so much good feedback and the suggestion is to do another genre for next season, next summer, like jazz or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, for the pop-ups, you're over onto the pop-ups now, right? Oh, like, sorry. I yeah, no, that's I, okay. Okay, that's then okay. I'm just gonna interrupt yeah, again yeah. for one second because I got a text from uh, Violet. Uh, Nora, Violet is also trying to get on. Oh, sorry. Just want to look. Okay, so I'll, I'll go back to the bigger ones. Um, sorry, Jackie. Go ahead. I have. Uh, that's okay. I have a, a email out to Elliot to talk about um, 
doing a couple more next summer. Um, I think they want to continue that. And I know that they were, um, they just want to start like thinking about it and planning it. So um, yeah. awesome. I think that everybody's in favor of that. Can I yes. just, I mean, yes. yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I think it we have great. to vote on it. Do we have one, to vote? one big difference was that um, the Emelin put its marketing muscle. Yeah. On concert they yeah got out, and i they think got out you know as, as a yeah. veteran of the sunday night concerts when it was only us doing the marketing right. <laughs> big, really big difference yeah yes. yeah Duh. yeah and that was um francesca over there francesca carter and she was great to work with you know she just she just knows how to do it it, it, it was really fantastic i think um they did a wonderful job and they were really like i said great all of them to work with so I think it's a really good partnership to um, yeah. to go forward with. So, mm -hmm. um, okay, uh, I'm hoping somebody can jump in and take that one over. Um, just as a side note, um, maybe Heather, who's not here, but she did help me with the the other one. Um, or if somebody else is interested in kind of spearheading the concert, just it's really coordinating with the Emlyn and. Um, Jason from Parks and Rec and Jeff. It's just kind of being the go-between um, and tying up kind of loose ends that need to kind of come together. So um, if yeah. someone's interested in that, they can. Well, I can, I can work with Heather, uh, Jackie. I, I, the only, yeah. I, can do the, well, the I haven't asked Heather thing. yet. So I oh, okay. All right. So uh, I can call her. I'll talk to okay. her. Let's let, you I, could. let you I mean, could. pencil in yeah. Heather and I'll, I'll write in Jean and then we'll just see. Okay. Um, all right, okay. okay, do we want to talk about the, I was kind of waiting for Larry for the pop-up concerts too, Marina, but I think we should just go ahead and talk about the pop-up concerts. Well, bravo, Larry. We'll tell him again when he gets yeah. here. But, um, yeah. And, and to all the volunteers, we had a lot of help from um, all of us or many of us. And uh, to those of us who went, um, I think a lot of us got to at least one of the concerts. They were incredibly well received. They were so joyful. Um, they they really gave life to the, the little pocket parks that we have all over. Um, a lot of kids came by, families, individuals, teenagers, whatever. It was good. I, I'm so happy that we did this. I think it was one of our most, your most brilliant ideas. I'm praying for that. I don't, who are you talking to? All of you. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. It, I think it was it, a great idea. It really was, and it was just so um, relaxed, well relaxed. received, and relaxed. <laughs> That's right. It was really good. I, you know, I I want to say Jackie that maybe or uh, uh, Sherry, if we do the winter sale, maybe we can grab one of the groups that we were interested in and and have some live entertainment in. Yeah. That would be nice. At that venue, yeah. since we know yeah. it's not a difficult thing yeah. to do. We know that. Yeah. That's the beauty of doing it outside, because remember, the library wouldn't let us have music mm -hmm. inside. So that would be great. It would yeah. attract some people, too. Yeah. yeah. So I think you said before, Marina, some we were thinking maybe jazz for next summer. And, and yeah. uh, we did three right concerts or did we do four I four we did four four, four. and my own, the only comment i got a couple times is they people wish they were a little bit longer in length so maybe we talk about as that is approaching just extending the time I, I don't know that we should do more than four and we could talk about that too but um it certainly was well that's plenty well worth the money and the like a good it number great. yeah yeah four okay great we were so lucky this year with the weather in, in compared yeah. to some of our other concerts. I mean, mm -hmm. it was really mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. they mean extending it in terms of time, like 45 minutes or? Yeah, 40, I think yeah. 45 is good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. Let's, let's, uh, I think maybe that. at the next meeting when Larry is here, um, we can go over, you know, a kind of a debriefing on the points that we mm -hmm. picked up, you know, yeah. like, make sure that we have interactive music or that they bring speakers. You know, there were a bunch of things. Yeah. That we right. the yeah. The, what the violinist brought her own speaker and it was yeah. great. The, the music just went throughout the area. It was so beautiful. Yeah, I, I think um, Columbus Park was a little bit more difficult. Yeah, uh, right. 
with with um too low sound. Hard to it, hear. Yeah. yeah florence park was i thought really well you could hear uh, the, where they were sitting and how it yeah. kind of came across the field so maybe it depends on the location you have to sit and close. the musician yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah okay great that was great i think um while we're talking about that we should mention like summer you know if we have next summer the four pop-ups the two um concerts with the emlin and then I, I would love to see the uh -huh. hudson valley shakespeare festival here again you know we we had one of those and then um do people think that's a good idea should that be yeah explored? sounds good yeah that's okay fantastic. With, all right jackie I, there is another group that does shakespeare and they do it with um mics and i yeah. i i saved i i don't oh. have right now it was in but a local paper it was a it's local, the local paper. paper and they were i don't know like we Broughton, could have that too I'll, if i can remember the name i'll also yeah, send it, I, I put it great send, send it over and, and we can um keep that in mind too to to, to right, um, that, that was the only issue that, i mean the, the performances yeah, were yeah. Wonderful. yeah yeah great I said, okay you know, the performances were wonderful but you could not hear past the second or third row back people really mm -hmm. could not hear so, okay, so we'll work on that too. That sounds good. Um, okay, should, should we talk about no, no. poetry live, Jane? Okay. Allergies. That's why you can't hear me speak a lot. All time. right. So um, I I spoke just Marina and I really didn't even have a chance to meet yet. But um, so one thing to toss out is, let's say if it were in April, April I did check the um, spring recess from a Marinette, and the spring recess is the week of the 10th of April. So April 24th, a Sunday, would be a possibility. Um, so Marina and I would have to find out from, I don't even know if we could have an in-person at the Emelin. I know the Emelin is planning to open, but I don't know if we could do an in-person event. Um, and if the teachers would feel comfortable, if the kids would feel comfortable. So I don't know. What does anybody think? I think we're going to be in a little bit of a different <clears throat> situation than we were last April, Jane, because I think that many of the children who are performing or coming will be able to be vaccinated by then. And I don't know that that was the case April. Yeah. Um, Cause no. I think they opened it up for the younger kids a little bit after that. So you, it might be, a, it might be in a different sort of headspace in terms of vaccinations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we don't have to decide actually right now, but um, we we could potentially see if the Emelin, what the Emelin thinks and um, and then perhaps talk to the teachers and so on. We, we could choose a date. We could get the material out perhaps to the teachers, whether it's going to be remote or in person. Well, we know it can work remotely. Right. It, it, yeah, it go. did. It worked. <laughs> There's a lot of work. But, it was a lot of work. Now that you did it once, mm -hmm. you know, you probably could. April 24th, I just looked. It's 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 my Easter. So I would probably. Oh, it is. oh so then we can't no, do it. No, no, we, but we kind of have to because the 17th is the American Easter. And um, and then before that is break. So, yeah. I, you know, maybe I'll just somebody else can jump in for me and do all that. <laughs> <laughs> We'll figure it out, but it, it's, it probably, out. it's right. probably the better day because it has to be in April. I guess, yeah. I mean, poetry I mean, month. Unless we to. did it early in April, like April 3rd, but I All don't right. know. We, we, we can talk about that we'll after. That. Jane, yeah. you and I will figure out the dates and then we'll get back. Yeah. But we, we, the other one has a concert on April 3rd. I, I got their card today. Who is? Oh. oh, the Emily? Yeah, they've got a concert on April 2nd and 3rd. Oh, okay. There we go. That's, that's that. Mm -hmm. It looks like we'll also be dedicating the poetry garden in the spring. Yeah. Since we um, postponed the dedication. Uh, sorry, Jackie, I'm going off topic, but it's, it's still poetry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah right. So that will be nice. Yep. You know, it, it might make sense to wait for poetry month. Mm hmm. Well, maybe you could tie in the dedication to the reception after Poetry Live. That would be kind of really 
It would be special. really, special. or if you wanted to have it separate, that's okay too. But um, we did talk. We did think, oh, maybe it would be nice to have a reception out in the poetry garden after the yeah. event. Mm -hmm. so something will, happens. something will click. Yeah, I yeah, think, I think they probably would be separate because it's more of a village thing with yeah. officials and all of that. But yeah, but, um, that I, makes I sense. do really like the um, reception idea. That we can talk about that more too. So, okay. and therefore we should dedicate it before. Yeah. Yeah. Have all yeah. the plaques there and everything. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. What else are we up to? So we have, um, there is a need for, for um, there's a volunteer fair. There's two volunteer fairs um, and we have a need for people to go and kind of um, man a table and talk about like what the arts council do, uh, uh, does. Um, for people who are looking to volunteer for, for the village. Um, I can pull up the dates uh, unless somebody knows offhand. Uh, yeah, One, they're both outside. Is, is right? this Do you Saturday? know them, Nora? Is this coming Saturday? First okay. one, right? Um, At what time? That's, um, oh, let me check the time. And then it's the following Friday, October 1st, from four to seven in the afternoon at Harbor Island Park. Harbor Island. Be, and where is the one um, on Saturday? At the Hummocks. At the Hummocks. It's at Hummocks. actually, the Lions Club is having a volunteer fair. And let me just see. Um, can, can anybody do either of those time slots? The Harbor Island Park is definitely outside, right? That's a yeah. That's October 1st, right? I could do October 1st. Yeah. Do, this Saturday, I can. Violet, OK, I great. Yeah. Violet? I can do October 1st, yes. Do you need OK, Violet, first? great. Do you need more than one person for that or? Um, Three hours. You can do two. I think it's really pretty easy for one. I mean, if you want to be a team, you can, but. Um, Doesn't, okay. It's not needed. I, I I mean, for me, I I don't like when I volunteer and then I get there and they're like, they, they don't really need me. So right. that's my thing. But if you want to go, Carrie, you can. No, that's all right. Just, just can. Okay. okay. That would have been um, the day. Can anybody do the hummocks on Saturday? I can, I have a, a shower. Is it this Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. That's the one in Hummocks? Yeah. yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, no, I can't do it. I'll be in Pennsylvania. No. Yeah. I'm going to be away too. Um, what time is it at, Nora? Do you know? It's Saturday? It's in the afternoon. We have a memorial service. It's 12 to 3 at the Hummocks rink. It's, it's the inside at outside. the rink? Outside. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, maybe we can get somebody who didn't show up to the meeting to to um to do this. That was that. That's their. <laughs> we'll ask Larry and Heather and see. Unless somebody else um, emails me in the interim and says, "Oh, hey, I can do it." Just FYI, the, there's a form to complete that they want to complete oh. by Friday to have tables and chairs ready. So you might want to um, just make sure that you get in touch with the line with with. It's, okay. But okay. It's Robert, I'll work on that. So let me let me check the form. Um, okay. It's at the Lions Club, so you you need to email the Lions Club. Okay. Okay. All right. I have that email somewhere. Okay. Um, if you click on the form, it gets going. Right. If you click on okay. the form, the email, just, it gets you right to it. Okay. Let's talk about the um, essential workers tribute that um, I've been working on with Elizabeth and. Um, I, I found a, a sculptor slash fabricator um, from Rockland County who was um, able to do what we need him to do, but we're not exactly sure what we need him to do yet. Um, we, I spoke with Nora and we think that this project, which was slated for the fall, um, will most likely be pushed to the spring because of all the things that the village is dealing with now um, yeah. after the remnants of Ida. So. I'm kind of just updating everybody. Um, this guy can create a compass. He can work with stone. He can do benches. Um, so we really need to kind of just keep him. And I sent him an email saying we just can't do anything right now, but um, um, we have him available and we just need to figure out when and costs and um, and then keep that ball rolling. So that's the update on that. Um, okay.
um, the other thing I have is the um, the request from the Parks Department from Jeff to do some kind of metal sculpture, painted metal sculpture for Harbor Island Park, like in Rye. I don't know if people saw the butterflies that Rye did. Yes, um, I did. Mm -hmm. They did them as a fundraiser for education for the Rye Art Center. Um, I think they were really fun and some were really big, some were small. I participated, painted a small one. And so we kind of want to take that idea and um, um, do some kind of other shape, like get artists to paint them and then to just put them up in Harbor Island Park. And I had the idea of um, maybe doing like marine life and kind of leading to the Marine Education Center or having some kind of tie in um, yeah. to that like to, to highlight that and to like you know yeah. walk people to so i think um i just wanted to throw that out see what people thought um if we should i mean i definitely think we should go forward with this project but i wanted to put it out to you guys see what you think and that's a great idea. yeah i love the idea. marine life idea yeah 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 okay i love i love you want to work on it with me melinda Absolutely. All right. I think it's very appropriate. Very appropriate. I wonder too, Jackie and Melinda, would it be kind of cool? I just um I was at outside the library and they have, you know, that they had the story that kind of went around the library. So you walked with your children to read each page. I wonder if you could certainly not do something that elaborate, but I wonder if the sculptures could be in some sort of communion with each other where whether they're kind of cool like literary you know ideas of like you could have like Moby Dick or whatever or if there's a like a little sort of storyline about it do you know what I mean I wonder if there could be some sort of like continuity like a walking story or like a walking poem or something like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. yeah I like that yeah let's think about that I like I, I like that too you can ask Kyle from the Marine Education Center. Yeah, like that idea. What what yeah. their uh, education program is, so because maybe you could do it in conjunction with whatever their education yeah. program is. Yeah, or even like a like a life like a life cycle of some sort of indigenous creature that that is here. I mean, I think you're right. You're right, Sherry. Kyle will know a lot better, but maybe something okay. to pass cool continuity. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll send an uh, email to Kyle, I'll loop you and Melinda and um, Elizabeth, do you want to um, follow along with that one too? Yeah, I'm happy to help. Yeah, totally. Okay, excellent. Okay, great. Um, and the, then um, the I just want to say, other... Jackie, I just want to say one thing about the Rye, what they did. Um, yeah. I think it was called Rye Rising, like they gave the whole concept a title. Rise Above, I think it was Rise Above, yeah. Oh, Rise Above, yep. right. Um, right. And so, I mean, there's maybe we can think about something like that. I, I was thinking about diversity if we didn't do marine life. I'm just thinking of like, what, where can we take our town and bring something to it that it needs, that they could use articulation. And, and in my mind, it was, you know, the richness of our diversity. Um, that, that kind of thing could still work with marine life. And it's, um, I, I just want to put out there that maybe we can think about something like rise above um, and use our own uniqueness to um, inform whatever theme that we're doing. It could also inform it artistically. I mean, it doesn't have to be like forced onto marine life or something like that. If we're doing, you know, we can have different uh, artistic motifs that will really um, represent Mamaroneck too. Yeah, let, I, I, let, there's a lot of angles that we could take on this. Um, I, I, I agree. Right. Um, yeah, certainly think about that and try to come up with a, a plan. So sounds good. Um, uh, the next thing I have is the artwork at the regatta pilot. The how is that going? All right. Um, you know, I went over and I measured the space, trying to figure out a plan because I did write something that I'd like to. Of course, we we're thinking of working with the Wright Art Center and the Mamaroneck Artists Guild. 
with a two month, um, I guess, I don't know what they call it, open showing for each artist where um, we can coordinate, they can come up with themes, how they're going to pick and choose the artists that they would like, maybe alternating between one group and the other. So each of them gets a chance to highlight what they're doing, whether whether it, you know, whoever it happens to be. And also, as I mentioned to uh, Marina, to offer also for the artists that are showing to have some kind of media presence, uh, whether it's doing something with LMC, LMC, I can never say that, right? or uh, brochures and a bio for each artist that's showing so that people get to know them, uh, who they are, and also a link where if somebody happens to like one of their pieces of work, they could follow up on it, they could follow up on the artist, perhaps even purchase something from them and begin to have it be a permanent installation rather than a one shot. I did look at the costs for the hanging systems and there are two types. There's one that's at uh, the Home Depot, which is like you know $41 for the kit that's four feet long. And there's another one by Stas, who's also been using a lot of other galleries and that's nine feet for $99. So they're about commensurate. And uh, we're looking at about, um, from a rough estimate, about 18 feet between the available wall space that we would need to purchase the hanging system. Um, and I guess the other thing that I have to speak to also is uh, before we purchase or decide on any system uh, to talk with one of the people that does the installation to see which one would work. I don't wanna have to find something that say, no, this isn't gonna work with this type of job, uh, with type of wall. And also the wall does need to be painted uh, freshly, um, I think a more neutral color, um, like a neutral gray or neutral white color that will showcase whatever color the artwork is. Um, because of the available space, it's limited to a two dimensional form. They don't have the space for anything that's sculptural or sticks out. So that would be pretty much our limitation. But given the sizes, I mean, you can put, I have two pieces up, one that are two by four feet that in two specific places, and then the other ones are smaller, about two by two. And then I have a couple of smaller ones that I'm sure you saw them that are just to be framed. It could be photography, it could be anything, but it does have to be limited to the two dimensional. Plus the other idea that just came to me too, that if we're looking at poetry and writing, that we could have somebody that has a story put out also that people might be able to read in that as another form of art or if we only want to limit it to the visual arts. Mm -hmm. hmm. Input, please. <laughs> I mean, it's such a small space, you know, it's really, there's not, not a whole lot of room there. Um, did, did you not find using like the nails or screws um, workable? Hang stuff? The, problem, the problem with that is if we're going to be having multiple people coming in and each of them having their art in different sizes, as you know, nobody is consistent on what they do, then we're going to have holes within a very <laughs> short period of time all over everywhere. Over. Yeah, you spackle and then paint them. I mean, that's, that's what <laughs> galleries do. I don't know. I've used those hanging systems. They're like a bear. And, and things always wobble and you have the wires. I mean, they're really hard to hang with. I, I, I prefer nails or screws into the wall and then staff and paint, but I don't know. Melinda, do you, have you used? I have no idea. They're a massive pain. Yeah, they're a massive pain. Yeah. I mean, okay. So, so yeah. then if, if, we're going I mean, to be, if we're going to be doing that, who, somebody has to be constantly, come, once every two months, come in, spackle and touch up the paint. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that kind of thing. I'm actually sort of like therapeutic for me. So, I mean, I, I don't mind being um, the we're not person really, that goes yeah, in. You're all broken up, Melinda. It's a yeah, you, you show you, at all. I do you. think it's going to be a lot easier for each artist to come in and do their own thing. I'm oh! Still 
I couldn't hear you. We couldn't really hear you. I don't know um, why. Um, is it an echo? echo? It's an echo somehow. I'm thinking yeah. like we used to dream about working with the library and we just couldn't get that going. I wonder you now with the new director if that might be a possibility. Yeah, I'm on my kiddo's computer because he broke mine. I think that uh, really you can't make, we can't make the decision. You have to ask uh, Jerry yeah. what they'll allow. I mean, they may not even allow us to hang a system there. They may prefer nails and whatever. And, mm -hmm. yeah. right. Well, but, yeah. So, you know, that has side on anything. You have to ask the village what they want us to do. Does anybody have right. experience with the command pickies that do they hold yeah. up? Yeah, those work actually. The command strips, yeah, they work. So maybe that's a but solution. But they sometimes take off the paint too. They sometimes take off yeah. the paint. They do hold up the artwork though. But maybe we need to re, re kind of think this and and um, um, because it's not enough to offer like. An artist like you know that you could come and hang two paintings it, mm -hmm. it, i don't know that's that's kind of how i feel um i don't know do you what do you guys think i think we need a I mean, secondary I, did it, you did it. I think we need a secondary space and i think it should be the library and i think jennifer would probably be very open so why don't we violet why don't we I mean, you and I slightly discussed that. I think we need to pursue that, put a whole package together and then bring it back to this meeting. Um, whatever the needs are, if it's painting the wall, if it's like a, a two location space, that could work too. And then yeah. um, I agree, Jackie, it's a really small space. And it is might, very small, yeah. but depending yeah. upon the size, I mean, I have probably about, about six pieces up. So it depends upon. Will you the send those pictures around, Violet? I haven't been there at all. Like, I think you sent one in the beginning. Just send them so people I can see and we can. Yeah, your work um, looked really good there, yeah. Violet. It it, looks yeah, good. I know. I, I remember. Right. But I think that would be great to have it like somebody go to Village Hall and see a couple pieces and then say, hey, there's more of this at the library and then mm -hmm. have a fuller, you know, show where they have, if, if that's possible. So that, that yeah, might I just, be a way to make it. More. I just want to remind you that originally this came about because the village wants to have some art there and they came to us asking oh do you have some art we can hang there and it was our idea to do like a, a rotating thing so i so i just remember that you can secondary space is great great idea and everything but i don't think we should say oh we, we shouldn't do this because there's only room for two paintings this is something the village wanted from us and i think we should take advantage of it regardless of how many spaces there is for work and again yeah uh, i i, I that's true, Shari. It can be less um, formal than like a, a huge call out and like, you know, it can just right. maybe be a little more organic. And I have a whole list of artists who would love to have some of their work on those walls. People who were at the um, Arts and Crafts Fair over the years. I, I mean, we wouldn't run out of, you yeah. know, time because or anything. It's very difficult to find places for the library, for example. The Mamaronic Library is booked a year in advance for their gallery space. Right. The, so this the, is the, the Larchmont Library is booked two months to try and get somebody. So even if it's to a lot of people a really small space, people are going in. And if we get some kind of buzz going about it, people will know. And then the artists themselves will drive people in too. Yeah. Yeah, but don't forget, this isn't like a a, um, a a thing where it's a gallery showing and we want right. an audience. Yeah. You know, this is just something nice to for yeah. the village to have in their lobby mm -hmm. and whoever goes in sees it. And that's, you know, maybe they'll be interested, maybe they, they won't. But I don't think this is supposed to be an audience driven. Mm, yeah. No. No, but it's an opportunity. It's like a pop-up show. It's kind of like a pop-up concert. Nice. It's like a pop-up show. If somebody show. happens to walk in and they've got business to do with the, with the village, look, who knew? Mm -hmm. the, this is an artist. This is a local artist. Isn't that interesting? And that opens mm -hmm. up another conversation. Yeah. And it, be it beautifies the space there. It looks, it right. looks nice. Okay. It's also, it's um, also an opportunity to like promote the Arts Council a little bit. You yes, definitely. Arts Council does. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that's true. We should have our name up on the wall, just Arts Council wall. We can, yeah. Anyway. We, yeah. we have to talk more on the whole thing. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. But, but I think also um, we can so another, just, another smaller dedicated place at the library, not the big gallery downstairs. There's, there's also when people walk in every time to the library, even behind the desk in the library, which is a big blank space, to have something that's, oh, it's a local artist. There it is. Okay. For further discussion, that sounds like we, we got that kind of rolling and we'll try to take that um, ahead. Um, so that kind of leads into the next um, item. Now we're into other business um, and I'll just bring up this. We, we, the artist registry would be so helpful for both this call for um, people to show at Village Hall. And, and so it's been on the list. Is anybody willing to kind of take that one on and try to organize that? Um, and get some kind of um, something going on that. That that one's been kind of hanging out there. And I, I used it. I used the Arts Westchester Registry extensively to look for a sculptor for that essential workers thing. Mm -hmm. So um, it does have a big use. Um, but uh, you know. So what does that entail, Jack? So it's. Um, I don't know, coming up with a list, I don't know if it's a website or just a database or um, I know Sherry has a, a list of craft vendors. I'm not really sure. It would kind of um, be up to the person who is willing to take on the project. Um, it would uh, ideally, I would love to see a searchable kind of website, you know, that, you know, artists of Mamaronek, you know, and you could type in, you know, writer and you know all the writers will come up something mm -hmm. like that just to group and know people um i don't know it's um I'm, I'm happy to work on it i mean we talked about you know I, I i i did some research a few years ago it's it's a lot of work we need a team that much i know uh -huh. i can be on the team with you okay that'd the be great part, the techie part scares me <laughs> that's all right we'll talk to robert and other people yeah. for that so um, it's, awesome. it's an important All thing. Right. It would really help us. Okay. That's great. Thank you. And I'm going to write my name like as a side person because maybe I can mm -hmm. get involved. Yeah, in I too. can point out too. You can, you can write that. my name too, Jackie. I, 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 Elizabeth? As as, yeah, as long as it's not too tech heavy. I'm not, same as Carrie. I'm not great, but I'm happy okay. to organize okay. and, ca and categorize. It's not tech heavy at all. Yeah, and I'm in. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't have anything else. Does anybody have any other business they want to discuss? Jackie, don't we have to do yeah. the minutes? Approve the minutes? Oh, right. Right. Did everybody get a chance to yes. read the minutes from yes. the July meeting? Mm -hmm. I did. Yeah. Yep. Can I have a motion to approve the minutes? I make a motion to approve the minutes. I second. 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 Marina. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jane, for reminding me of that. Um, okay. Is there anything else? <sighs> so no, do we meet, do we meet again on on a Tuesday? Is it would it be the night? Is it the nineteenth? Wait, it's um, uh, we did not we settle we, on a second date, okay. did we, Nora? Well, our usual we, day is um, first, the first Monday of the month. Okay. Um, and actually, Tuesdays are sort of hard for me, so um, okay. while you're looking at that, I do want to just mention um, my tenure on the Arts Council is up in December. Um, so that means, and I will have been here for six years, so hard to believe, but that means I will be rotating off. Mm -hmm. um, so other people, um, Marina is, is staying on, we will be doing like the election of officers um, in December, if anybody would like to, something to think about. I just wanted to let you know. So I'm kind of transitioning and maybe like kind of passing on some of these things, trying to finish things up and um, getting ready for mm -hmm. whatever else is next. I don't know. <laughs> just wanted to let you know. So, All right. Um, so, Nora, you have the calendar, second date? You're scheduled for Monday, October 4th. Okay. That's only two weeks away. Do we want to do that? It's so soon. It's less than two weeks. Yeah, I, really. I can't do that anyway either. Yeah. But can you? Can we do something else? Nora, or do you want to check back with us? Um, um, I mean, it's, it's easier to do it now. I'm looking at the calendar. Yeah. Generally, on okay. Tuesdays, 
Um, I can't do it at seven. I have it's I have something else on Tuesdays generally, so I switch today. But I can do it at eight on Tuesdays. Doing it at seven on Tuesdays. Oh, too. I have uh, a question, Nora. Um, yeah. Sally's note said that we can have two meetings before December. Does that mean we can only have two meetings? Or no, I don't think that's what I think. What it means is I I think that you can have more than one meeting. At, the village can host because of the Zoom thing. We can host more than one meeting at a time. I think that's what it meant. Oh. So, um, and then the organization meeting, well, let me just see, um, is uh, December, the first Monday in December. Oh, my computer's slow. Hold on. Six. Okay. So the organization meeting is. Monday, December 6th. So that would, you're scheduled to have a meeting then, but that's not a good night um, because you'll have been, you'll be being reformed then. So um, I don't know what to say. Do you, if you don't want to meet on the, uh, if you don't want to meet on October the 4th, um, if you want to pick a different date, just if you want to pick a Tuesday, just pick okay. it for like eight o'clock and I can do that. Want to do the 12th? Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, that's the day after Columbus Day and we have a board, our board of trustees meeting was postponed oh. from the 11th to the 12th. How about the 19th? Oh, sure. The Tuesday? But then you're be Why are we on a Tuesday? Uh, can we go back to Monday? I'll probably be in that. I can't do Mondays in Tuesdays October. I can, but that's that's I couldn't be there. But if um, it's a month long thing I have to do. So if if Tuesdays work for most, sorry, Robin. Um, it's fine. Okay, but if you do Tuesday the nineteenth, then yeah. you your next meeting is monday the first two weeks later you're going to be in that situation because you're in yeah yeah so at some point that's going to happen should we just wait till november 1st why don't we nail down november 1st and then we can talk about if we think there's enough to discuss next month and then we'll get back to everybody. Yeah. Or we, or we can, you know, whatever little committees have to do things, we can just be in touch. Right. So That's what a good I would plan. suggest is since October 1st, so it's the first or the fourth, it's the fourth, right? So that's already on your calendar. It's already, it's technically noticed, you know, so you don't have to, you don't have to go through. So, you know, it's easier to cancel than to find another meeting date. Well, so we're thinking of not doing October at all and just right, but I would wait till you might want to wait till a little I mean if you're not going to do it that's fine but then if you, you thought you might want to reschedule something that just makes it a little okay. more complicated. but just no. tell us yeah. so you want to tell Sally and Robert we're not going to meet October 4th we're just going to meet on Monday November 1st yes I yeah, think that's, that's what we're going to do yeah okay. yeah all right okay sounds good good can I can I have a motion to adjourn? I make a motion. Violet? All right. Second? I second. Elizabeth? Great. The meeting is adjourned. Oh, um, boy. Thank, thank you. you all Bye, everybody. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Great Larry, seeing Larry. everybody. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Can we wait a minute? Larry just came on. Oh. <laughs> Don't see Larry. Trying to promote him. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm. He's allowed to talk, but I can't seem to promote. Oh, he's there. There he is. I see. You want to reopen again? Um, if you want, if you want to talk to him, no, 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 no. And I apologize. Sorry. I've been on for a while. Oh, you have? Oh, yeah. I didn't realize I needed listening? to come on as a panelist. I've oh. been observing ah. all of you, wondering where I was. Oh, so. okay. Oh, sorry about that. Do you do you want us to reopen? Do you want to add anything, thoughts, ideas? Mm -mm. No? You just wanted to see us, now we can see you? 
<laughs> yeah, well, it's nice <laughs> to see you, Larry. <laughs> it is nice Sorry. to see you, Larry. Yeah. Right. No. I would like to add one comment. Jackie, don't disappear. Please volunteer no. again. <laughs> yeah. You have a lot to offer. I hope I don't disappear. <laughs> I'll do my best not to. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. I think that's a wrap. It was good to see you all, and um, I look forward to seeing you again. All right. We will. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.